Hello everyone and welcome to this video on algorithm analysis and time complexity. So in this video we want to know what is the running time of the following code fragment. Now in the blue rectangle I have that code fragment and it states that integer count equals zero and then we have our outer for loop that states that integer i equals three and it runs while i is less than n so it never reaches n. Then we have i plus plus which means that i increments by one each time. Next within that outer for loop we have our inner for loop which states that j equals 0, and it runs while j is less than i, so it never reaches i. And then we have j++, which means that j increments by 1 each time. Now within that inner loop, we have count++. Plus plus. And that statement is going to be run some constant amount of time within our two for loops. So let's get started and solve the running time of this code fragment using summations since summations can represent for loops. So first thing I'm going to do is create a function called t which will stand for time and it will take an input of size n and I'm going to set this equal to the summation from i equals 3 all the way up to n minus 1 and this is because our outer for loop runs from i equals 3 all the way up to but not including n, right? Because we have i less than n, so I have n minus 1 here. Next, within that outer for loop, we have another for loop that runs from j equals 0, and it's going to run while j is less than i. So within this summation, we're going to have another summation. And this summation is going to run from j equals 0, like our inner loop, and it's going to run all the way up to i minus 1 because it never reaches i. Now within that second for loop, that inner for loop, we have our count plus plus statement, which is going to be ran some constant amount of time. So I'm going to use c for some constant amount of time. And now we're done setting up our function. So what we can do is use some of these summation formulas to my right and the black rectangles to simplify this. So we're going to start by using this middle summation formula. Okay, so let me go down here and I'm going to rewrite that outer summation. So we have the summation from i equals 3 to n minus 1. And using that second summation formula, we get c times i minus 1 plus 1 minus 0. And if you're not sure how I got this, well, the variable n within the summation formula is equal to i minus 1, and the variable m within the summation formula is equal to 0. And I just plug those values into our formula. Okay? So let's simplify this. This is equal to the summation from i equals 3 to n minus 1 of c times i. Okay, and now if we simplify this even more, we can just pull out that constant value or that constant variable. So we get c times the summation from i equals 3 to n minus 1 of i. And now we can use this summation formula here at the bottom to solve for this. So this is equal to c times n minus 1 times n minus 1 plus 1 divided by 2, and let me make sure I use my parentheses here, minus 3 times 3 minus 1, all of that divided by 2. Okay? And so let's simplify this a little bit. So this is equal to c times n minus 1 times n over 2, and again I'm going to use my parentheses, minus 3. Okay? So let's go down here, and we're going to continue to kind of simplify this a little bit more. So we get c 
times n squared minus n over 2 minus 6 divided by 2. And this is equal to c times n squared minus n minus 6, all divided by 2. Okay? So, this is our answer. And this implies that the code fragment is big O of n squared. Okay? Now, if you're not sure how I knew that this was big O of n squared, I just took the greater order of growth, which was n squared. But also, I will put a link to a few of my videos explaining big O in the description below. So be sure to check those out. And please leave any questions you have in the comment section. Don't forget to hit that like button and that subscribe button. And if you found this video helpful, please share it. Maybe others will find it helpful as well. And that's basically it. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video.